In this video, we'll be showing you how to install the Mac operating system on Windows with VirtualBox. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. As a Windows user, there may be times when you need to use the Mac OS, but perhaps you don't have the money to invest in your own Mac computer. Apple has always made it hard to install their operating system on non-Apple hardware, making it hard to take advantage of the benefits of this refined operating system. With VirtualBox, however, it is possible to install the Mac OS on your PC. Let's take a look at how you can do this. First, you'll need to download a copy of Oracle VM VirtualBox. You'll also need an ISO image of the Mac OS version you want to install. Getting a hold of an ISO is actually more difficult than you might expect. If you have access to a Mac, you won't be able to download a copy of the operating system you've already installed. If the Mac is running Mac OS Mojave, open the Mac OS Pi Sierra page in the App Store and download the installer from there. You will need to convert this APP file to a DMG and then convert from a DMG to an ISO in order to be able to install it in VirtualBox. A less complicated but also less secure option is to search for an ISO of your desired version of Mac OS Online. There are plenty sites that have them, but downloading an ISO from an unofficial site does come with a level of risk. Install VirtualBox on your Windows PC by following the instructions. Click New to create your new virtual machine. Use the name of your Mac OS version to name your virtual machine. For example, Hi Sierra or Mojave. The type and version should autofill with the correct settings. Select the amount of RAM to be allocated to your virtual machine. Allocating more RAM will help speed up your virtual machine, but make sure you leave enough for your host operating system, whether that's Windows or Linux. Choose Create a Virtual Hard Disk Now and click on the Create button. Leave the default setting of VDI checked and click Next. Decide whether you want a dynamically allocated or fixed size virtual hard drive. A dynamically allocated drive will start small and grow in size as more space is needed. A fixed size drive will immediately take up the set amount of space on your physical hard drive. Choose the size of your virtual hard disk, click on create and finish creating your virtual machine. With your virtual machine highlighted, click on the settings cog, select system from the side menu and make sure that floppy is unticked and in the boot order settings. This will ensure that your virtual machine boots from your High Sierra disk image. Make sure that you have set base memory to a suitable level, 2048 megabits as a minimum. While you're in the system menu, click on the processor tab. Set the number of CPUs to at least two and ensure enable PAE slash NX is enabled. Select the storage menu from the sidebar. Under storage devices, click on empty Click on the icon of an optical disk in the top right corner of the screen and select your High Sierra ISO file, ensuring Use Host IO Cache is enabled. Click OK to save the changes. Proceed to the display section and set video memory to 128 megabits and click OK to save. Before you can run Mac OS in a virtual machine, you'll need to run the following commands from a command line or PowerShell with admin privileges on Windows or a terminal on Linux. Make sure VirtualBox is closed before you attempt this. Linux users will need to add sudo to the start of each VBox manage command and replace the location on the first line with the location of VirtualBox as installed on your Linux distribution. Finally, reopen VirtualBox Click on the green start arrow to launch your virtual machine, then follow the instructions to install the Mac operating system. So the Mac OS should not be installed in VirtualBox. Anytime you want to use it, simply launch VirtualBox and launch your virtual machine. And when you're done, you can either close VirtualBox or shut down through your Mac OS virtual machine. Do you have the Mac OS running on your Windows PC? Do you have any tips or tricks for optimal settings? Let us know in the comments below.
Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.